Local legislators talked about tax conformity, school safety, and a number of other topics at today's Eggs and Issues panel. Our Sarah Winkleman takes us to Madden's Resort to hear an update on the current legislative session. It is a perfect opportunity for us to hear from the, the leaders of, of the area about all the different issues uh, that they care about. That's how things get done at the Capitol. Put on by the Brainerd Lakes Chamber, this morning's Eggs and Issues event started off by diving right into the big topic of tax conformity. We want to make sure that individuals aren't paying more taxes. We want to make sure businesses aren't paying more taxes. So that'll be the challenge. Of, uh, we're working with the governor right now. At this point, he wants a $1.4 billion tax increase over the next four years. We want to be revenue neutral I, or, or less taxes. With representation from both the House and the Senate sharing their thoughts. That we absolutely have to work on this issue. We have to make sure that we are in alignment with the federal government and we get it right. Another hot topic discussed was the issue of school safety and how legislators are working hard to make sure students in Minnesota schools are safe. That has to do with uh, mental health dollars, making sure that we have resources so that we can identify kids that are in trouble and are doing some of the things that are happening around the country. We need to make sure our school. Uh, buildings are safer so we want to provide money for risk assessments so that they can have professionals come in and say this is where you're vulnerable and we want to explore how do we help our local schools with their ability to choose what they need to do. The morning also included ongoing conversations of the workforce shortage and the effect on affordable housing. And I don't necessarily think that's an affordable housing issue. It's just a housing issue. So I want to talk about workforce housing and not just affordable housing. And if we broaden that um, dialogue, I, I think we'll have a better solution and better answers. With over 100 members of the local business community in attendance, the legislators will take back information as the 2018 session continues. There's more conversation, you know, like you're having with friends and trying to find out, you know, what are the solutions, what's the path forward. Path forward. Reporting in Brainerd, Sarah Winkleman, Lakeland News. Also discussed during the panel were topics of wage and benefit laws, broadband access, and improving transportation. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.